Hello guys, I hope you all are doing good. I am Vishali Kikan and we are discussing the electronics engineering. Today in this video, we are going to proceed towards the last application of the diode that is the voltage multiplier. Right, so we are going to see the several types of voltage multipliers that we have. And after watching this video, you can make any kind of voltage multiplier. Right, if you want two times voltage multiplication, three times, four times, five times, six times. So you can do anything right after watching this video. So let's start with the introduction to the voltage multipliers. What are voltage multiplier? As the name suggests, it is going to multiply the voltage. If the input voltage is V, it is going to give me 2V, 3V, 4V, 5V, depending upon our requirement, right? So voltage multipliers are AC to DC power conversion devices. They are going to convert the AC signal into the DC signal as well. And it is composed of diodes and capacitors. The circuit will be having several diodes and several capacitors. With the help of just diode and capacitor, we can make the voltage multipliers. And they are going to produce high potential DC voltage from lower voltage AC source. If I have the lower voltage AC source, let's suppose I was having the AC peak to peak voltage is just 2 volt. So now I can convert it to 10 volt as well right with the help of the voltage multipliers it is make up of multiple uh, stages and i am going to tell you how we can make the multiple stages depending upon our requirement right if you want to make uh, the 5x multiplier right you want to have the five times voltage output so you have to make the multiplier stages right how many multiplier stages how to make them all of these things we are going to see in this video itself and each stage has one diode and one capacitor and we are going to classify each stage as we have only one diode and one capacitor in each stage so now we have several type of voltage multipliers like first of all we have the voltage doubler as the name suggests it is going to make the voltage double or twice right so first of all we have half wave voltage doubler which is going to work like the half wave rectifier it is going to double the voltage at the half waves right and what at the other half signal what it will be doing that I will be getting the pulsating output right then we have the full wave voltage doubler again we are going to get the pulsating output but here the frequency would be doubled then the half wave voltage doubler now coming to the next type of uh, voltage multiplier after voltage doubler we have the full wave voltage tripler then we have the full wave voltage quadrupler so it is going to multiply the voltage with three and it is going to multiply the voltage with four so this is how we have the different types of voltage multipliers first of all let's discuss the half wave voltage doubler as the name suggests it is going to double the voltage for half wave right like we discussed the half wave rectifier it is a very inexpensive method of obtaining high voltage necessary for accelerating purposes like we use it in various uh, uh, practical application as well like the cathode ray tube we are using it in the cathode ray tube of oscilloscope right so uh, the half wave voltage doubler is also a very uh, important type of circuit that we should understand because of its wide applications so it is going to produce the greater dc output voltage than the ac input voltage if the ac input was having the maximum value 1 volt it is going to produce the output 2 volt right so it is going to convert the ac into dc as well so it is going to do the uh, rectification work as well as the multiplication work so it gives 2 vm dc output voltage it is going to multiply the input with two right so it requires two diode and two capacitors only with the help of two diode and two capacitor i can make the half wave voltage doubler so this is the circuit of the half wave voltage doubler here we have the input voltage v in right which is supplied over here so this is a transformer which is a step down transformer and here i will be getting the input voltage right which is uh, having the lower magnitude than this ac voltage right so now here we will be using a capacitor and a diode so capacitor is connected like this diode is connected like this so if I make this circuit right here I will be using the V in symbol for the 
transformer right so i am not making the transformer so how you can make it so you uh, proceed with making the capacitor and then you can make a diode so you will be making the diode like this right first diode will be connected like this now here uh, the we will be having the second diode which is connected like this and then we have a capacitor so this is how in the triangular fashion you can uh, make it and you can proceed for the further voltage multipliers as well right so uh, if you go for the uh, voltage doubler so for the voltage doubler we have two triangles if i talk about the voltage tripler i will be proceeding with the third triangle so here in the uh, bottom uh, side i will be having the diode here in the upper side i will be having diode if i want to ex extend this structure i will be having diode in the bottom right so now this is how at the alternate upside and bottom i can make the diodes and this is how i can extend this structure so now let's understand uh, the operation of the half wave voltage doubler so first of all let's understand when we have the positive half cycle here we have positive here we have negative so here we will be having positive here we will be having negative so now uh, let's understand this with the help of this circuit so when i have the positive over here so this uh, diode is going to become forward bias but this diode is going to become reverse bias right so first of all i will be having only this operational circuit here i will be having open circuit this circuit will not be operational so first of all for the positive half cycle i can make just the first half uh, circuit so here we will be having c1 and the diode d1 so when i supply the positive uh, signal over here the capacitor will be charged right so now the capacitor will be charged like this right so now when we have the small capacitor charging time and high capacitor discharging time this is also a requirement for the voltage multipliers you should have a small charging time and very high discharging time we are going to see why now the capacitor is charged by the voltage vm vm is the input voltage over here all of the voltage is supplied to the charging of the capacitor now in the negative half cycle we have the negative voltage over here the negative voltage over here the positive voltage over here so now vm is negative over here positive over here so now if i see the circuit if i have the negative signal over here so this diode is going to become reverse bias it is going to become the open circuit and this diode is going to become the closed circuit so here i will be having in the circuit vm vm c1 d2 and c2 so this is how i have made the second structure vm c1 d2 and c2 so this is how we will be having the given structure now here this is the voltage we have vm on the capacitor c1 now it will start discharging right so here uh, we will be having one more voltage vm these voltages are going to charge the capacitor c2 so what is the total voltage by which the capacitor 2 is going to charge it is going to charge with vm plus vm which is equal to 2 vm right so total voltage by which the capacitor 2 is going to charge is 2 vm so we output if i take the output from this capacitor c2 i am going to get the 2 vm output right so the voltage across c2 is the sum of voltage across c1 and the peak supply voltage right and in this case what happened d1 was reverse biased and d2 was forward biased and now c2 was going to charge in this case d1 was forward biased d2 was reverse biased and c was c1 was charged to vm and here c1 uh, c2 is charged to 2 vm if a load connected across the c2 is having the slight discharging then it is going to get recharged in the next stage right so if uh, it is going to discharge because of this load if i uh, place a load over here rl over here and this 2 vm voltage is going to discharge due to this load uh, resistance so it is going to get charged in the next cycle and again in the next cycle i am going to get 2 vm at the output again it is going to discharge due to rl again we will be getting charged it in the next cycle right so this is how the cycle works so now coming to the full wave voltage doubler now what happens in the full wave voltage doubler we are using the two diodes connected like this and we have the two capacitors right so this is uh, where i am supplying the input voltage so when i supply the positive half of the input now when i have the positive over here d1 becomes uh, forward bias and d2 becomes reverse bias and the capacitor c1 is charged to vm 
right so now in the negative half cycle what will happen we will be having negative input over here and uh, the diode d2 is going to become the forward bias and d1 is going to become reverse bias and capacitor c2 is going to charge now when i have no load the output if is taken from the combination of c1 and c2 if i take output across parallel to c1 and c2 both so i will be getting vm plus vm is equal to 2 vm output right c1 and c2 are connected in series if i take parallel output from c1 and c2 c1 and c2 are connected in parallel so you can see over here so if i take uh, the output from the c1 and c2 which are connected in the parallel so these outputs are going to add vm is going to add with vm and output voltage we are going to get at 2 vm now this 2 vm will be there only for the no load condition when i have load so this uh, voltage is going to minimize due to the load because there would be voltage drop across the load resistor as well but again it is going to charge in the next cycle so now coming to the waveform so this is how we have the waveform of the half wave voltage doubler so for the half wave it is going to give me the voltage output 2v not right here 2vm we are going to get the voltage output then the capacitor is going to discharge again we are going to get uh, the 2vm output in the next cycle as i told you it is going to charge again we are going to get 2vm output again it is going to discharge in the full wave voltage doubler the same thing happens but with the double frequency so frequency is going to double with this uh, the half wave voltage doubler so here you can see we are going to get the output which is dc and amplified as well right coming to the full wave voltage tripler now what is full wave voltage tripler voltage tripler is circuit that raises dc voltage level to three times the peak of the input ac voltage so if i have the input voltage which has the peak vm i am going to get the output 3 vm right so now it is the extension of half wave voltage doubler we are having one more capacitor and one more diode over here so i showed you the circuit so here uh, we can make the circuit again like we uh, showed you the triangular structure right so here we will be having the diode like this right so now again i am going to make a triangular structure now here i will be making a diode and here i will be connecting a capacitor so i will be making this structure again so that the things will become more clear right so this is my input voltage now here i am going to connect the capacitor so uh, i have connected the capacitor like this right so now here i am going to connect the diode d1 right so now here i am going to connect the diode d2 and here i am going to connect the capacitor right so now here i will be connecting the diode d3 and here i will be connecting the capacitor so this is how we can extend this structure now if i extend this one more time i will be having the voltage quadrupler right so voltage tripler is uh, going to give me the 3 vm as the output so how the circuit is working now when i have the positive input so in the positive half cycle d1 is forward biased and c1 is going to charge by vm right and uh, d2 is uh, reverse biased right so here we will not be having any charge on c2 now in the negative half cycle what will happen d1 becomes uh, reverse biased and d2 becomes forward biased and now c2 is charged to 2 vm right so now again uh, we will be having next positive cycle and here c3 is charged with 2 vm right so this is how at the c1 we will be having vm and at the c3 we will be having 2 vm voltage and if i take the output from this side right from these two capacitors their voltages will be equal to vm plus 2 vm which is equal to 3 vm right so i hope you understood the structure now coming to the last structure for the day which is the full wave voltage quadrupler here we are going to get the four times of the maximum of the input ac voltage right so it is the extension of voltage tripler by adding one more diode and one capacitor and here if i add one more capacitor i am going to take the output from this side right so now capacitor c1 c2 c3 are charged to vm 2 vm and 2 vm it is going to uh, apply in the next uh, negative half cycle so what happens in the next negative half cycle we are going to charge the capacitor c4 by 2 vm and if i take the output from this side 
So when I take the output from this side, the output will be 2 Vm plus 2 Vm, right? So output will be equal to 4 Vm, right? So this is how we are going to get the 4 times the maximum output that we were getting in the voltage quadrupler. So I hope you understood each one of the things that I have discussed in this video. If you have any doubt, you can put the doubt in the comment and I will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible. I hope you like this session. If you like it, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and also give me your feedback. Thank you so much.